apples as far as the eye can see. In this rural part of Normandy in France, apple orchards dominate the landscape. I've come here to find out just how important they are to the region. Hi everyone, this is Megan Lee from Euromax. This region is one of the largest areas for apple production in France. Not only are apples exported from here, they're also used to produce apple brandy as well as apple cider, which is the order of the day. I'm traveling along the so-called cider route, named so because of the cider makers which dot the 40 kilometer circular drive. My first stop is the Domaine du Pont Orchard. This is a family run estate which specializes in cider. Now where I come from, cider is also produced at this time of year, but without alcohol. So I'm curious to see how cider is produced here. Four different apple varieties are used here for cider. After the apples are hand-picked, they're washed and sorted for pressing. The juice is then extracted and stored for fermentation. Once it's bottled, it will have an alcohol content of between 3 and 5 percent. Mathieu Chevrier works at the estate and explains why this region is a leader when it comes to cider. It's so special because the climate is special, very wet, very humid climate, and the soil. Soil, it's a clay soil to retain the water and to give a very, very small apples, very concentrate. After press, we receive the must. This cloudy juice is very important and we control the fermentation for four or five months. Well, time for a taste. Mmm. It's quite fruity and very delicate. It's it's not too sweet. No, it's, it's cider. Nice. It's cider. Yep. <laughs> Back on the cider route, I make my way to the next spot for lunch. The cider route has a bunch of little villages along the way, and I'm about to arrive at Combremer, which I hear has a very unique charm. Combremer is a small village with only about 1,350 inhabitants. One of the highlights is the restaurant Au Petit Normand, which serves up specialties that go well with cider. Today, veal in a light cider sauce with mushrooms and potatoes is on the menu. Chefs here add fruity apple cider to savory meat dishes, which produces a nice contrast in flavor. All the products here are locally sourced, including, of course, the apple cider, which is recommended with this meal. It's a delicious combination because the sauce here is a little bit sweet, but you can still taste the apple coming through, and the apple cider is very fruity. So it makes for a very delicate combination. And my final stop is the Chateau de Bois, where another local specialty is produced. Apple cider isn't the only beverage produced in this region. It's also famous here for Calvados, which is an apple brandy. Let's find out more. This estate has been making Calvados since 1954. And like champagne, the brandy has to be made in this region in order to be called Calvados. Hey, tell me what distinguishes apple cider from Calvados. So Calvados is an apple brandy, uh, which is totally different from cider because here you will have cider which will ferment a longer time in, inside the tank. Uh, so it will be less sharp and not fizzy enough to be drunk. And this cider will be distilled and we will obtain um, Calvados, which will age and become what you have here. Calvados contains on average 40% alcohol, much higher than apple cider. I will advise you to take a small sip first. Santé. Ooh. Wow, that's strong. It's amazing how diverse this little fruit has proven to be. And with that, I come to the end of my tour on the cider route. Now, seeing this region with my own eyes and seeing how many varieties of apples there are has made me realize how much apple cider production defines the region. And with that, it's time to say goodbye. Until next time, au revoir. <laughs>